How are you? I'm Jessica DeLing. I am an educational specialist at Child and Family Development. Hello, I'm Mo Frenberger. I'm also an educational specialist at Child and Family Development. And today we're going to be talking a little bit about a newer service that we have at Child and Family, um, dyslexia screenings. So we've got some frequently asked questions that we've been getting about this service. Um, so I'm going to be asking some of those questions and Mo is going to be sharing some more information about um, this new service. So what is a dyslexia screening and how does it differ from an evaluation? So that's one of the things a lot of people have been asking. Yes. Um, so a screening um, obviously is going to be a more modified evaluation. So evaluation is going to be a lot more comprehensive and evaluation um, if we're evaluating for dyslexia, we're actually going to determine a diagnosis and make a diagnosis if there is one. A screening is going to be more about looking for early signs, um, characteristics, so that um, families can determine what types of interventions, and we can kind of guide them with those recommendations. Mm -hmm. So who typically would this service be for then? Yes. So we can do it as early as four and a half, um, and we're offering it all the way up to age eight. Um, and then another difference I would say between the screening and the evaluation is going to be the amount of time. So screening is going to be shorter. And then also um, the cost is going to be a lot less. Okay. And so um, one of the other questions we've been getting, so as a parent, what are some red flags or how would you even know if your child should have a screening or an evaluation or kind of which direction to go? Yes. Okay. So early signs. Um, and sort of red flags. If there's a family history, that's going to be a big red flag. Um, in addition to that, um, when we're looking at preschool age, um, we're looking at things like delayed speech. Um, we're looking at difficulty with rhyming and phonemic awareness. Moving into um, kindergarten, difficulty acquiring reading skills, and that could be things like late letter recognition and sound awareness, and then moving into delayed reading and, and spelling skills. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Um, what are some things a parent, or would you suggest that a parent does um, if their child is showing some of those early signs of dyslexia that you um, just shared with us? Yeah, so I think talking to the teacher is a must. Um, and, you know, I will say um, some teachers are, are more experienced in understanding dyslexia than others. Um, so I think talking to the teacher first, just to see, you know, where is the child compared to the classmates with development and are there concerns from the teacher? Um, and then looking again at how the child is progressing, um, you know, sometimes parents can look at um, comparing the child to other children they may mm -hmm. have um, or other children, you know, in their life um, to see, like, does it seem like this is um, coming along in the way it should or is there a concern? Mm -hmm. And I feel like, you know, we work with a lot of kids here, both of us do, um, and it's just so important to to catch those kids with dyslexia early yes. on. It yes. makes such a difference. To get, yeah, to get that early intervention and really teaching them um, to read with success early on versus waiting until they hit third grade or, or upwards of that it becomes a lot more difficult to remediate mm -hmm. the longer that you wait. So we've answered a lot of these questions about our new service. Um, and if you have any more questions or if you would like to schedule a dyslexia screening, feel free to reach out um, to either office and we can get that appointment scheduled or answer any other questions you might have. Thanks. Thank you so much.